All right, I got two through night sabers in front of me here. If anybody doesn't know, these are powered by a 14500 battery or an AA. And from what I've seen for experience, the AA battery in these is about as good as you're going to get with a small form factor flashlight for runtime and throw. I haven't found much of anything that compares is to these as far as the AA powered battery in it. But needless to say, they come with the 14500 that's supplied with it. And I do have one on a charger right now. As you can see, it's red. That plugs in to a USB-C. And they rate that at 920 milliamp hours for that battery. So it does have good runtime. Uh, real quick, we're going to hit the specs. And then we're going to go out and I'm going to test these for light output with the AA and 14500. If you're running the 14500, you're talking about almost 660 lumens. And that will be running for about three minutes before it'll drop down to 276 lumens and that runs a hundred plus minutes on that and that's on high and the 57 lumens is an incredibly good output time which is right here decent output very decent and that runs for 19 hours on that 14500 battery. Now the AA on the low mode is 24 lumens instead of 57, but you're running for 14 hours of runtime. Well, does a pretty good job. And if you're switched that into high, you're like 235 lumens, very bright, for 75 minutes. You're talking an hour and 15 minutes of non-stop runtime at about 235 lumens but it's a very good focused beam and that's what I really like about it now is build quality on them you got your for your head your ball cap you can put it in the front and then you can uh, on the bill right here and then of course a clip for the pocket so works pretty good for a headband light but I do know it's running a TIR reflector on it and we will be doing tests on both the AA and the 14500. Now one throw wise for the high mode on the 14500 you're talking 141 meters of throw which is pretty darn wicked and the AA you're talking 90 meters which is still awesome. Uh, lockout on it I'm not sure on specs but if you just twist the tail cap a little bit, it doesn't come on. But it takes a little bit of effort to push the tail cap in the switch. It's got a heck of a switch on it. So you're not going to inadvertently touch that. But the OD Green is going to be running the 14500. And then I got an alkaline battery in for the AA, or for the black one. So once that other battery gets fully charged, we're going to go out and try it out. All right, let's get rolling on these uh, two flashlights. First, we're going to do the through night with the 14500, and that's the low setting. And that camper right there is probably, I don't know, I'd say about 70 feet in front of me. The tree's back there, about 100, a little over 100. And that's the low mode, and there's the high mode. You notice how this little flashlight truly does light things up. Uh, remember, that'll run for about three minutes, then drop down. But on high mode, you're punching out pretty far. I mean, that field out there is easily over 100 yards away. And I'm shining somebody way out there on the highway. Right back to low mode. actually works quite well. Now we're going to go into the AA powered and that's the lowest mode on the AA powered reflecting pretty good off that camper and like I said the high mode with one AA battery looks pretty darn good. Now one thing I'm going to do before I shine it over on a different tree is drop this down a little. And I'm going to turn my car headlights on high 
Okay, here's my car headlights on high beam. And here's the 14500 on low. And that's high. It literally drowns out car headlights. 2007 Saturn. Kitty kitty. That's with the 14500. AA powered one. Not so much on the lowest mode. But on high. Give you a pretty good indication there. Just how bright these lights are. Let's switch over to a tree farther out. Okay, just like all my other hundreds of flashlight videos, got that tree at 62 meters away, and that's the lowest mode on the 14500 powered. And that's the highest mode. And it's hitting that tree just ideal. The 14500, swing it over. 93 meter tree way in the background. Behind all them weeds. It hits that tree good. So this is easily over a 100 meter, 100 meter flashlight with the 14500. So let's try the AA powered. And quite easily at that tree at 62 meters. But if we swing down, it is reflecting off the 93 meter tree. Pretty good. Impressed with it. Well, the sun's just coming up. I just got done with work, so I can hurry up and try to get this video made. And it's like 15 degrees out, so the heck of it. Yeah, you can barely see it off that tree upwards of a couple hundred meters, that hillside, but not quite. That's pretty good. Uh, I could let this drop down to 200 and some lumens. See what it looks like. I'll turn the camera back on when it drops. Alright, it's been four minutes, and hard to tell, I think I'm pretty sure it dropped down, pretty sure it did, but it's still punching out to that tree at 93, so one way to find out, yeah, it's got to have dropped down, I don't know, it's going on five minutes right now, I'm going to turn it off and back on again. There it is with being off or on for about five minutes. It don't drop down a lot, does it? That's pretty awesome. At any rate, you're looking for a Wicked AA or 14500 powered flashlight. This would be it. Let's get back inside. I'm cold. So there you are. That's the saber. So you have to check that link out down below for this flashlight. Pretty sure you'd be impressed. And they do come with that clip and a USB charging port and a couple year warranty. So there you go. Through night saver. Wicked light.